Hey, what's up? This is Tony. Welcome to Leaders Lead. In the last episode, I talked about uh, purpose and I talked about finding your purpose. And I gave you one step towards finding your purpose. One step. And that one step was realizing what your pain was. If you find your pain, you're going to find your purpose. And that's what I think. I believe it. Some people are like, oh, you should have to go through pain to find your purpose. That's my way. Chances are, if you're listening to this, you've overcome something. You're overcoming something, right? And usually that thing that you've overcame was the thing that you now do to help people not go through what you've gone through, right? So I want to give you a quick story, and I'll tell you about my purpose. It, it happened a couple of uh, uh, there was a couple different messages that I heard, but I heard it incorrectly. And I'll tell you this. Um, I was afraid of public speaking, right? I think that is public record. I was afraid of public speaking, still afraid of it, but I've mastered it, right? But I gave a speech at work and make a very long story short, in that speech... I talked about all the different injustices that the people that were working with us were going through. I highlighted, I let them know that, that we knew. I let them know that I was working on it. I let them know that if anybody was going to get fired, it was going to be me. And as soon as I said it, I was like, oh man, what did I just say? Because I hadn't shared that, that part with my wife. But afterwards, a lady comes up to me and she told me that by me taking a moment and taking just a safety message that I that I had to give them every Monday required, I had to give them this safety message. But instead of me talking about safety, I, I talked about the things that was on my heart and I talked about the things that they were going through. And I forgot all about the message that I was supposed to give to them, but the message that I gave them it sounds like it worked because this lady said that it saved her life. She was thinking about going home and taking her life because she was so afraid of losing her job, even though the job that we worked at, they didn't really do a really good job of taking care of its employees. That was my fight most of the time. And I was really frustrated just like they were. And I was vulnerable. And I said, if you get fired for telling me the things that are going on with you when it comes to safety and you walk out of here, I'll be walking out of here with you. And I think one of the last things that I said was, man, I got a really big network on LinkedIn and they would be happy to find us both jobs. And she said that it saved her life. She said that she was going to quit and she was going to go home and she was going to take her life. And I knew that her family meant everything to her. I knew that that spark of joy had left and right before my very eyes, it came back. And so I said, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a speaker. It was weird for me. I think even my wife was caught off guard, but you're afraid of public speaking. Okay, this is what I believe God is telling me to do. This is now my purpose and right before one of a, a speech that i gave right i gave a speech to my daughter's class and it probably was one of the the one of my first speeches that stressed me out the most because she put some pressure on me she didn't want me to to bomb in front of her class she was worried about me cursing in front of her class right and so there was some heat on me and so right before I got on my knees because I was starting to feel that heat. And I prayed to God like I'd normally do. But this time I said something. I said, God, I want you to make me the best motivational speaker. And I wish I would have said just for that day. <laughs> but as soon as I said, I want you to make me the best motivational speaker of all times. It was almost like God said, I didn't put you to be a, here on this earth to be a motivational speaker. I put you on this earth to do the work. Speaking is just a part of it. 
But if you're speaking just to just to do it, right? Let me let me put you on 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 a direction. And I felt this tingling inside of my body. It was almost like I could take it back. I wouldn't say uh, like we would say back in the day, like no trade backs, <laughs> right? I wanted to say that, but I knew what God had in store for me was was something bigger than I would ever think on embarking. I knew that God had something in store for me. And for the next three years, my family would go on probably the route, wildest ride that we've ever gone through. We'd gone through some of the biggest pains that we had ever gone through. I've seen my babies literally sick. My babies passing out because of this illness that they have. And my leadership as a father was tested like no other. What are the chances my baby having this thing called uh, pandas? Look it up if you haven't heard of it. Um, it's affecting, you know, it's a supposedly rare. One out of every 200 kids, they get this thing called pandas. And it's from an infection of some sort of, or even just the common cold, but they get what's called brain encephalitis. And their brain has literally has inflammation. So my babies, they've been going on this ride. They've had to get these treatments. We've had to, they had to go out of town. It's just been horrible to see your babies go through so much. And throughout that process, like I said, my leadership grew within myself. My leadership grew externally because my family would go on this, this ride and it would take every bit of strength in me to be one of the drivers of this ride, to be the partner that my wife needed me to be. And the big picture is now I realize that God put me on this earth to save the babies that are currently going through the same thing that my babies went through all these years and we had no idea. That's what I was called to do. That's what I was put on this earth to do is to, to talk and to tell their story, to raise awareness so none of our babies would ever, ever have to go through what my girls had to go through. So that's how I found my purpose. That's how I dug in. I'll see you next episode.